Hello friends, welcome back. Now that we have looked at uh, VBS and macros from uh, the data filter point of view plus uh, you know how we can execute if commands and some nuances of uh, logically building and connecting the VBA code, uh, it's high time that probably we move towards uh, something called a user form. Now what exactly is a user form? So, you, so the one which you actually is seeing on your screen, this is called as a user form. Now uh, uh, think about this user form as an interface where you can connect with your user and take their inputs and do something at the back end in terms of coding as per your requirements. So this is a simple user form where uh, you are actually trying to calculate the EMIs of uh, you know uh, a certain mount and uh, you are taking inputs. Uh, this user form uh, is actually taking uh, the inputs in terms of name, email ID, uh, loan amount and then you know tenure through a drop down you can choose banks and then you can click here on these buttons to execute a certain function. So uh, these are essentially called as a user form. Okay so uh, the theme of the discussion of these set of video series would be to see how this user form actually is created and how we can logically connect various codings at the backend with these set of user forms.